The case against Susan Smith captivated Americans 30 years ago as she was sentenced to life in prison for drowning her two young children, confessing eventually to driving into a South Carolina lake, killing her three year old and 14 month old. Now, any moment now, a parole he hearing will begin to consider whether she should actually be released from prison. Her ex husband is speaking out about that chance and hoping she stays behind bars. A lot of people have said that she won't and and maybe she won't. But even knowing that there's a possibility, that there's a chance that she can get out, scares me to death. First of all, I want to say how very sorry I am. Um, it's okay, Susan. Just. Just talk with us. I know that what I did was so horrible. <laughs> and, and I would give anything if I could go back and change it. And I love Michael and Alan. Drugs or alcohol the night that you murdered your children? No, ma'am, I was not. Your attorney, your attorney talked about working with mental health. Is that helpful to you? Ma'am. Mr. Thomas, I talked, hear you. Mr. Thomas talked about the fact that you were working with mental health, and my question is, is that helpful to you? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> is that something that you would be willing to continue with on the outside if you were granted parole? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Ms. Smith, your crime took a lot of, of resources from the law enforcement community. What, if anything, would you say to the folks who worked so hard to find your children if you had the opportunity to speak to them today? that I'm sorry that I put them through that. I really, really am. And I'm especially sorry to the drivers that I had to find them. I wish I could take that back, I really do. I was really, I didn't lie to get away with it. I really didn't. I was just scared. I didn't know how I could tell the people that loved them that they would never see them again. I didn't know how I could tell David he couldn't see his sons again. <laughs> and I'm, 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 just, I'm sorry. I don't know. I know that's not enough. I know it's not. But I don't know. I know they just have like words, but they come from my heart. They really do. Right. One of the things that we review <laughs> is your institutional record. And you've had some infractions throughout the years. Um, some involving um, the use of some narcotics. Do you have any issues with drugs or alcohol at this point? I don't, no ma'am, I don't. And you had a recent, you had a recent disciplinary infraction just a few months ago. So why should this board think that if we grant you parole that you're gonna go out and follow the rules and the laws of society if you do not follow the rules within the institution? Well, this last infraction, um, I was trusted the wrong person. This lady contacted me and I trusted her. I thought she was gonna do a documentary on mental health. And I really am not guilty of what they, told, what they charged me with and I have filed an appeal on that charge. Um, and as far as your question, um, I've never
never been in trouble before. And the things that I have been found guilty of in here have been just stupidity. I just made, I, I know I made a lot of mistakes in here and I have learned from them. And before this last infraction had been 10 years, because I grew up and I knew that I needed to stop making dumb decisions. And I did. I, I just, I knew it was time to just, to grow up and do the right thing. I just made a lot of dumb choices and mistakes in here. So I know I've learned from those mistakes. What do you feel is the most and important thing that. that you've learned while you've been incarcerated? Ma'am? What do you think is the most important thing that you have learned while you have been incarcerated? That, um, that people are important, that it's, that forgiveness and love, um, that family is important and that decisions we make not just affect us, they affect the people that we love. And not to take things or people for granted. All right, is there anything else that you would like to tell us today that wasn't in your packet or that has not already been said? Um, I would just like to say that um, I am a Christian and God is a big part of my life and I know he has forgiven me and it is by his grace and mercy that and I have a lot of faith and I live by that every day and I just ask that that you um, show that same kind of mercy as well um, and I guess yeah that's it. Thank you.